Hey guys, Matt here with EV West. Uh, just a little little walk through on how to crimp 4 aught and 2 aught cable. Uh, we decided to just go ahead and show you on our BMW race car M3. This is a, this is a Warp 11 HV motor. Uh, as you can see, the serial cable uh, for serial winding, uh, you're, you're going to want to run from this terminal here to the forward terminal on the accessory side. Um, what we've got here, this is big 4 aught double insulated. Uh, international orange cable. Um, so what we're going to do, this other side we went ahead and crimped already. So we're just going to kind of take this around like that. Just take a permanent marker. And the idea here is when this, the, the wire you want to get is as deep into this ring terminal as you possibly can. So it, it can be a little tricky to get it just the perfect length, but you kind of put the terminal on there. This will give you an idea. Uh, we're going to come up a little bit shorter on that. I'm going to say somewhere in that area should be pretty good. And then again, the, the wire will get stuffed into about to this point there. So we'll come right here, about to there. The other thing you can do is orientation. Um, so once you crimp this, especially on a short wire, you re there's not a whole lot of twist or give in this. So you can also do, you know, a little line here on the top, just a little reminder to go there. So go ahead and pull off, pull out the cable here. Especially with this four aught stuff, you really need a you really need a good pair of cutters. And we're just going to go ahead and put it right on our mark. Okay. And that makes a nice, real, real nice clean cut. Uh, let's go ahead and take this over to the bench and uh, show you how to crimp. All right, here we are at the bench. Uh, let me go ahead and just show you what I'm doing here. Uh, what I usually do is I'll take you know, like I said, we want to get this wire as deep as we possibly can in here without a bunch of shielding left over on the back side. Uh, so I usually will set it about, about there. And then I'll use my thumb as a good marking spot. Come over with the razor blade. And this, is, this is double insulated, so it's, you kind of got to get down in there. Um, just turn it around like that. And the easiest way I found is to do just one more cut down the side. That usually loosens it up enough that it'll come apart. Just go ahead and give it a little twist, kind of pull off any, uh, try to pull off any excess wire that you might have. We're going to go ahead and just put this terminal right over the wires. Now, now, this is kind of important because both of our lugs on the motor, so you need to you know, always check your orientation, make sure these two parts are flat on, like as in our case here. But uh, just really want to take this and just kind of twist it back and forth. And really make sure that it's as deep as it possibly can be in there. If you need to, set it down on the bench. It'll tell you if you're in the right orientation. Okay, and we definitely recommend a good hydraulic crimping tool. Uh, those, I'm not too impressed with those hammered ones. As soon as you do a few with a crimping tool like this, you'll, you'll learn to really appreciate it. Um, this particular tool with 4 aught, we're using the 150 die. On the 2 aught, we use the 90 die. So let's go ahead and just crimp that down. And I usually go up about a quarter of an inch from the base of the uh, terminal lug is where I'll put the crimp. And you kind of just hold a little bit of pressure to hold the wire in there. And you'll, you'll feel it when it bottoms out. Gives you a real nice uh, 
crimp all the way around. And a test, just you know, so you always know you should be able to, you know, hang your own weight off of this, give it a good pull, and you shouldn't, you know, shouldn't have any issues there. Had one little wire hanging out. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put some shrink wrap on it. This is uh, mil, mil spec, very thick uh, heat shrink, and this has glue in it. The reason why you want to run anything with glue like this is because uh, we, we just had an issue with our forklift um, where actually the, where the wires went into the terminal is where the, uh, the corrosion happened and we actually, you know, the, the, forklift, the forklift actually quit working. So uh, the glue is very important to keep uh, any moisture out. And you kind of just want to go up to like about the base of the lug. And we'll just turn this on. Go ahead and get it good and hot. So that the glue adheres to it. Again, you never want any moisture to get into this. Sometimes it's very hard to track down problems like that. You'll get noises from it sometimes, and you, know, you, you, do, you could actually uh, have a potential fire. Go ahead and uh, go back to the BMW and we'll show you installed. All right, here we are back to the BMW. Uh, one of the things with the heat shrink is you do want to make sure you don't go past this flat spot here with the heat shrink. Uh, once, if you do, you, get, you, you risk a chance of uh, not getting a full seat on the motor here. So, but uh, here's our cable. Let's go ahead and this particular one, we're just going to feed it right through this hole. I'm going to put that one on there. It's looking pretty good, so let's go ahead and just get it tightened down. Okay, well, I should finish that up now. Uh, we've got these, these uh, three quarter inch nuts, good and tight on our Warp 11 HV. Uh, just a little quick follow up on everything we've done. The, uh, we definitely want to use the uh, double insulated international orange cable. Very, very uh, thick, strong. Uh, ring terminal ends. Uh, highly recommend the um, uh, mil spec shrink wrap with glue. You definitely want to keep the moisture out of there as much as possible. Uh, we also believe in the hydraulic crimping tool is, is just it, as for strength wise and it, it just seems like it gets a much better connection as compared to like the hammer style. Um, but uh, that's about it for that. 